Hi folks, time to get a few more of these Reliant Regal bits cleaned up, painted, ready to go back on the chassis. As you know, the Reliant Regal chassis is sitting outside, waiting to have all the bits bolted back on it. I've had a bit of problem locating bushes and stuff like that, as you know now, which we've got to, what we got over, as you see in the last video. So now it's time to start cleaning some bits of the chassis up, uh, the ancillary bits like the springs and stuff like that, refurbish the axle and getting them back onto the van. So let's do that now. I'm gonna start off doing some sandblasting. Okay, well, as you can see, I've had to finish the ends off because I can't quite get to the ends in the sandblaster. So just give them a quick wire brush. Hello? Look who's here, everyone. Come on. Come on, baby. Come here. Say hello to everybody. You don't normally come out here with me, do you? No, I thought I'd make sure you're not asleep, that you are working. Baby, look what I'm doing. I've got these bushes, as you know, what I've cut down. Is that what they are? And I'm going to put them now in the ends of the, what are these called? I don't know. Come metal, on. metal things. Leaf springs, baby. Why would I know that? It's an education. You come here with me, baby, you'll learn stuff. You don't come out here and not, not learn anything. Not interested. Right, what you're going to do for me is hold the camera while I try to get one of these in for the people, well, yeah? You should never come out now. No, you've got a job, baby. Do a dinner. You've got a job. It's Sunday afternoon. I know you're doing a dinner. We've got everybody around, by the way. Tell them who we got around today. My family. Everybody. All the kids. Tracy, Ben, Gary, Stacy. Ribbery. All the kids. And chicken me, breaks. Sharon, Jimmy. House full, so that's what Sharon's doing now, anyway. Right, baby, I'm going to try and get one of these bushes in here. Okay, they will fit because they're what they call a tolerance fit. Okay, so we've got to push them in, and what I've got to push them in is a couple of sockets. It's hot in here. Yeah, it is hot in here. I know I've had the fan on, baby. That's because I've been working. One to go on the other side when I'm pushing through, and this one to go on this side, which is the near enough the same diameter as the push. Oh, oh that's a thing, isn't it? <laughs> right, you're going to hold the camera, okay? So, right, let's get the camera off for you, baby. So I've had to block the window off because of the light. Now, here's our bush, and I'll need you to support this with one hand. You want one minute, I'm filming. Well, I can't normally put it through the window, shall I, don't I? But I can't do that because I'm. Uh, it'll block the light out, you see? So I've just got to open the vice out until I get it to that size. So I can't push on the middle, you see, because that's raised above. So I've got to push on the outer edge. Right, so just just take it to back there. You normally find these have got a leading edge on these um, bearings, uh, bushes rather. They should have anyway. Right, just hold it like that, okay? I'm just going to start closing the the vice up. Keep it there, baby. Once it takes bite, we should be okay. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to try. And... Now, can we see? Right, I'm just going to start turning that bearing in now. I'll tighten the vice up. Now if these are a bit tight, I would have to take that out obviously and chamfer it. These are tolerance fit by the way. And what I'm going to do is just to, now it's loose, uh, now it's started to go in, just move it into the centre of the vice. Because what can happen is that if you push on the ends of the jaws like that, I've had it before when pressing for things in, is that these, these vices can fracture. So try and keep the load in the centre of the vice because the centre of the vice is obviously going to be the strongest part of the vice. And it should go in without too much of a problem. Now, I don't want to push it right the way through, because obviously when we go right the way through, we, we've got that bit sticking out, which will hit the vice. That's when I need the other socket in play as well. So as you can see, look, going in nicely, like that now. I'm just going to put back it off. And as you can see, we're not far off it now. So I've got to wind it out further. 
There we go, look, we're just coming up to it. That's now I'm going to get the, la the larger socket. And that just fits on the outside of there so the socket can slide nicely inside. So you're going to have to hold that again, baby. We've got two sons indoors, both sitting down on their phones, and they should be out here. Yeah, don't worry about them, baby. Your retro restore. Right now, let's try and wind it in. Oh, look at that, it's going lovely, look. We're virtually there, baby. There we go, one more little goat. Right, let me just loosen off. Stay where we are. I'm gonna take the weight, hold on, darling. Take the weight. Put it on there. Oh, look at that. There we go, baby people, look. Done with my little baby, look. Baby? What's burning? Dinner. What's burning, dinner. darling? Dinner. Who's burnt it? Dinner. Nanny? Yeah. Nanny's burnt the dinner? Yeah. Unbelievable, yeah. Nanny. What are you doing out here? You should be inside doing the dinner, baby. I've got to go and check now. Shouldn't be Thank, you. Thank you. There we go. That's the first one. That went in no problem at all. You've seen that live here with my little wife, Sharon. Well done, Sharon. Well, not too much trouble at all, that. And that's how I've done it. Um... Obviously, you can buy presses and special uh, outside sockets to uh, outside um, diameter flanges to go in, but getting the right size socket, you should have them. I've got Imperial and metric sockets, so somewhere down the line, you should find something pretty similar that will do the job. That's the first one in. I've now got to do that one. Then this one's going to be ready for paint. So I'm just going to carry on and do this, and I'll see you in a minute. Right then, whilst we got a few of them bits painted, those are the sort of things that take a bit of time, them things, cleaning up little bits and stuff like that. But um, I'm at the stage now where I've got to get this half shaft plate off 
so that I can actually remove these brake back plates which in turn will allow me access to the rear oil seals in the uh, drive shaft sections. So you might remember in the previous couple of videos I did attempt to do that with my small flywheel puller which I had from my lawnmowers and it broke. I've now got um, this larger one here as you can see it's quite a bit more substantial. So we're now going to try and remove this if we can and uh, one thing I was advised by Dan, Dan Cliff was to put this nut back on again because when these apparently do go they can go with quite a pop so I'm just going to put that on there like that and then locate the correct spacings let's go for that them two there I think like that There we go. Cool, that went with a pop, didn't it? They're right, it did go with a pop. Right, there we go, that's off. That's the drive shaft nut off. And hopefully... Where's the key? There's a little keyway in here. There we go. That's it off. And as you can see, there's a little woodruff key which uh, is in there. So that now allows me to undo these four nuts to the back plate. And I can then pull the back plate off, which should reveal the seal. Okay then, so that's the outer seal on there. These have got two seals on them. And to get to the inner seal, which is behind the bearing here, we've actually got to pull the half shaft out. Now, you can sometimes, I was told, pull on these and get them out this way. I can't really do that. I haven't got a flywheel puller, so I can't really pull that. So my other little option is to just literally put the nut on the end of the uh, shaft and just i've got a pair of adjustables here again this ain't the right way to do it this might just give you enough tension on it just to get it get it out and literally just there we go as you can see that's drawn the half shaft out and as you can probably see now I'll just wiggle it come on there we go that's the half shaft now out as you can see and what you've got on here you've got a collar there which has got to stay where it is so this just comes out in one point there's the bearing you can check the bearing bearings rotating fine there's no graunchiness there otherwise I'll have to change the bearing that's fine and if I take you inside now as you can see here is the inner oil seal which you have to prise out so you want yourself a big screwdriver or a pry bar and literally just hook it out and there's the inner oil seal and that's going to be replaced as well right so here's the old seal and that's the new seal as you can see they're both exactly the same size and although you may not be able to see this if I 
actually hold this seal up here this is the old one and move the rubber on the inside the rubber literally just cracks you can't hear that you might be able to see it look I'm only just I don't know if you can see it there look if I just push upon it it actually cracks so although it may have been sealing initially as you can see there look old rubber you can hear it cracking so that's the old one the new one as you can probably see there absolutely lovely and soft and pliable so if you ask yourself the question if it's just a matter of just painting up your your um, axle without changing these seals it's really cost effective just to do these it's only about 14 pounds a kit so definitely worth doing uh, another handy thing to have as well is if, you, if you've got something to push this in there and I've got this socket here as you can see it's the perfect match for that so it's not going to damage any edges at all and this is a, basically a 36 mil socket so that seems to be the ideal size there so I'm going to use that to drift this uh, seal in as well I've actually just coated it with a bit of the, the, the uh, gearbox oil the axle oil anyway so just to make sure things are nice and smooth when they go in As you can see there's a nice little ridge all the way around there where it's actually been seated correctly and that is the seal back in now that didn't take long at all did it <laughs> 